This is a black knight puzzle and this is a pawn equals queen puzzle. Both puzzles become quite popular and bestsellers in my Etsy store. Sherzhov Haiderbekov, the puzzle designer, came up with a new idea for the puzzle. The puzzle is called Exchange the Kings. It has equal number of black and white chess pieces. Yes, you have to move them in turns. No, you can't capture other color chess pieces. The goal of the puzzle is to swap the kings without capturing using standard chess moves. Now I'm gonna make the first copy of this puzzle and try it for myself for the first time. I'll print the board for the puzzle, I have plenty of chess pieces printed already and now I have to cut some wood to make these wooden tiles. I'll be using the Elga Laser Alpha MK220 Watt. It is a brand new machine, it comes in parts in a box and you have to spend 15 to 20 minutes assembling it. I'm not gonna waste your time showing you how to assemble the machine since it is very easy if you follow the instructions. The assembled machine looks great, I like the red color parts. They make the Elga Laser Alpha MK220 Watt look much better than many other similar machines. The working area of the machine is 400 by 410 millimeters and speed up to 20,000 millimeters per second. You can extend the working area up to 850 millimeters if you buy an extension kit. A bunch of other accessories are available as well, such as honeycomb, smart enclosure, rotary roller, smart camera and razors that allow you to lift the machine up to 105 millimeters. The razors are a little bit too tall in my opinion. I wish they were made from two parts so that I can use either a smaller part or the entire length of the razors. The Alga Laser Alpha MK2 has a very useful screen on the front panel. You can control the machine and launch projects from the screen. That means you can upload a bunch of projects to your machine and use it somewhere outside so all the smells and the smoke will be blown away by the wind. I love when laser engraving machines can be connected to light burn using Wi-Fi and Elga Laser Alpha MK2 does it perfectly well. First, you connect the machine to a local Wi-Fi network, enter the IP address to the light burn and you are ready to do some projects directly from your computer. At the same time, the machine can be placed outside or in the other room so you don't sit in the smoke and smells while the machine is doing the project. The Elga Laser Alpha MK2 comes with an air assist. You can control it either using the switch or from the screen of the machine. You can set it from one up to 100% of power. The only downside of the air assist is that it uses this weird connector. That means that if you wanna use another compressor, you have to deal with the connection. Everything is ready now and I can cut some tiles for the puzzle. The machine does a very good job. I can already see the final result will be nice and clean. I'm using a 3mm thick MDF and the cutting speed is 250mm at 100% power. So now let's take a closer look at the result. We have plenty of parts and all of them look very nice and clean. Elga Laser did a great job cutting the tiles. Now I'm gonna glue these two frames and try to play the puzzle. Okay, two frames are ready. They look really nice. I think it was a good idea to use a combination of 3D printed parts and the laser cut wooden pieces. Now I have to put the chess pieces. These two go here. The white king goes here. This one goes here and this one will be here. And exactly the same will be on the opposite side of the board. Let's try to solve it. So I have to switch the places of two kings uh, capturing other pieces is not allowed. You have to use standard chess moves and you have to uh, do moves step by step. So first move will be with white piece and the next one will be with black piece, then with white again, then with black and so on. So you have to uh, do moves in order. So let's start. The first and obvious move will be to move the white king here, but the next piece will be black, either this one or this one. If I move this one, there is no... Oh, okay, I can, I can move the king back. The next step will be with the black piece. So if I move this one and do exactly the same, 
I switched places of these two parts. What's next? What if I move this here, the king goes here, then I can do this step and the knight goes here. Mm -hmm. And that looks like a dead end. I can actually move this knight here and the king go, oh, maybe that's not the dead end yet. So this goes here. This goes here. I can move this king here. Okay. This knight goes here. The next one will be white piece. So I guess this one. The next supposed to be black piece and the next is white. And that is the dead end. There is no other possible moves. Okay, let's do another try. I'll start with the same, I guess, steps. This white, the next, the next move will be with a black piece. I can, no, if I move this one, there will be a dead end. Then this one, the next is white, white king, obviously. The next step is a black piece. But here I have to think, either the black king goes here, Oh, this part goes here. Okay, I'll move the black king closer to the position where it's supposed to be at the end. The next one. What if I move this piece? It is a dead end. If I move this piece, it looks like I'm moving to the, uh, to the same dead end. So the king goes here, the white piece. What white piece I can move? I can move this one here. The next step is with the black piece, this one. Okay, then the white piece again, then the black one. The white piece supposed to move next, but there is a no way I can do that. Okay. Yeah, it is a dead end again. Or maybe if I do this move, this goes here. The next is black. Okay. The next is white. Uh, no, again. Okay, that is tough. Really tough. Another approach. Let's try again. There are only two obvious moves for the start, since you can move either the black king or the white king. That is all. I don't think that I can. Yeah. Ah, no. Oh, I can start with this. Okay, I can start with, with the white knight, for example. The next move supposed to be with a black piece. That's correct. The next one is white piece, but there are only two pieces that they can move, either this one or this one. This one is obviously a dead end. If I move this one, there is still a chance that I can move this piece. Then this piece goes here. The next one is black. Oh, I can move this one. <clears throat> the next one is white. And the next piece is black. Uh, let's try this one. No, not this one. The next piece is black and the next one will be white. So I have to think a little bit forward so that I know what will be the next step. Mm. So the next one is black. What if I do white and then black and the next one is white again? And then it is black, white, black, white <laughs> okay i went all the way back uh, not as fun okay let's move here then this goes here the next is white then the black king goes here what if i can just play with this no th there is no way that i can just play with these parts and do the solution no not a good one okay so this one goes here this here next is white piece then the king goes here oh if i put the white king here this is exactly where i can switch the places wait a second is it solved okay it is solved but how did i manage to do that i have no idea I'm impressed with the Elga Laser Alpha MK2. It gives such a nice and clean result, even better than the laser machine that I'm currently using. I might keep it and sell my old laser cutting machine.
If you like the Elga Laser Alpha MK220 watt and you want to have it for your own projects, the link where you can buy it will be in the video description. And if you like the Exchange the King's puzzle and you want to buy it, it is available in my Etsy store. Link will be in the video description as well. Thank you for watching the video. See you in my next one.